These aren't the droids I'm looking for. Out of my way. Die, stupid gunk droid. When the droid beeps at you, it's laughing at you. Make those bleeping rolling monstrosities pay for their sins in Star Wars The Force Unleashed. The most Lando Star Wars game I've played since The Empire Strikes Back on Atari 2600. And that's quite a compliment because that game had ad -ats. And so does this one. This one also allows you to electrocute Jawas. Dink, dink, dink. <laughs> oh wait, he's still moving. Oh, well, we gotta finish him off. Can't start a proper review without killing Jawas. My being here has never been about my piloting. That's right, it's because of your winning personality. Hey, I love this game. It doesn't waste the franchise title. It doesn't spit on old school Star Wars. It has terrific characters and the storyline is cool. The gameplay is excellent and it's all around Lando. Head through the bottom of that location. Sadly, this game is not about Lando. See, that would be a different game. They should make that Star Wars Lando Unleashed. Where the gameplay consists of seducing alien women and mixing fantastic cocktails. We have the entire galaxy in front of us. And yet, for the first time in my life, I don't know where to go. To the Lando system. This is a different game. This is Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Where you play as Darth Vader's apprentice. Quite a popular game. I'm sure many of you have played it for one reason or another, probably because I'm usually underwhelmed by Star Wars games. It's taken me a few years to get to it. Now, the good news is the price has crashed in that time, so you can easily find an affordable copy today. And as I'm recording this, it's near the release of the sequel. Disco dancing ad ats anyone? I hope so. TK421, why aren't you at your post? Die, stupid extras. There's more to this game than just electrocuting Jawas and stormtroopers, but there doesn't need to be. That's what's great about it. Now go, and remember. Nah, seriously, The Apprentice is the best Star Wars character I've seen since 1983. I need to find an action figure of The Apprentice and then put him in my G.I. Joe vehicles and crash him into the Transformers. <laughs> Uh, they don't have that in this game, though. But they have lots of other cool things. Like seriously awesome gameplay where you use the Force and your lightsaber to kick some ass. From one star system to another. Does Cobra have a union? Like, do they get pissed off if, say, the Empire soldiers are driving Hiss tanks? Is that some kind of violation? Talk about two totally inept branches of fictional militaries. Cobra versus Stormtroopers. It would be a bunch of missed shots and people ejecting out of airplanes for no reason. They need to make that game. They had uh, G.I. Joe versus Transformers comic books. Except they were complete fiction. Transformers would have just stomped on them. Completely ruined the realism of what could have potentially been a very believable comic book concept. Never. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Back to the game. It's kind of like God of War meets Star Wars. Which is kind of like giant beer meet empty glass ready to drink. You run around and kill things with a lightsaber, which is just cool to begin with. As you play, you upgrade your apprentice and get piles of new moves as well as new force skills and you can electrocute people using the force. And I could kill all of these bad guys with a variety of moves, but it's far more entertaining to grab them with the force and just throw them into walls or off of cliffs. That never gets old. Now, as good as this game is, I could have done without the whole quick time button prompt things. Some of which feel like they're lifted straight out of God of War. And uh, they, they cheapen the game a bit, because you can't concentrate on the beautiful visuals and the action because you're just staring at the button prompts. It's kind of a cheap trick. 
That's a minor complaint compared to the whole. You know what really shines in this game is the sound design. They pull original sounds out of the Star Wars films and use them properly and to great effect when you're fighting in the Death Star and the laser goes off. If you've seen the film a thousand times, it works. That You can just hear in the background the... Of course, there's the John Williams music and just the random noises in the background. It, ju it just captures Star Wars. You witness the birth of the Rebellion, and it's a terrific storyline. I think this will appeal to new fans of Star Wars, as well as those of us who really haven't moved beyond 1983's Return of the Jedi. I like my Ewoks with zippers, please. No CGI. And that's the game, Star Wars The Force Unleashed. I'm already looking forward to the sequel, Star Wars Lando Unleashed, a game where motion controls are used and not gimmicky because you need them to accurately replicate mixing drinks for alien ladies. How else could you get the feeling that you're really using a hydro spanner to blend up some smooth, refreshing cocktails in space?